let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a bottle of Lady Friend IPA by the Alora Brewing Company out of Alora, Ontario, coming in at 6.0% ABV. Really interesting artwork going on there. It's a girl punching a bear, like giving him some kind of crazy Street Fighter uppercut. Sure. <laughs> um, I've had a few beers by them now. I want to say this will be like the few. I think I've had like two the Lodestar, IPA, and something else I think I didn't like. But regardless, super exciting ball cap. Bright orange seems to be their thing. I want to say this is the first one of theirs that I've had where the orange is actually reflected on the label somewhere. I think the uh, other ones weren't reflective of that and we'll just leave it at that let's crack this open let's see that was a terrible terrible throw let's see what we got that's a little darker than your average ipa hmm, okay careful with the head careful with the head i said okay Wow, um, I'm gonna let that settle and uh, picture. That is pretty freaking crazy on the hazy. Again though, it's like it's a darker hazy color. Like if I kind of throw some light behind it, I don't know, it's just like light doesn't even make it all the way through. It just kind of lightens up, there we go. It's weird, I don't know. Smells piney and a bit malty. I'm not really getting any kind of uh, citrusy, juicy aromas coming off it. It smells, it's the pine. This is very, very piney. It's been a while since I've smelled something like this. It smells like a Christmas tree. Let's give her a shot. Ooh. Wow. Weird. There's like a giant hit of that super amazing kind of toasty caramel malt flavor that I love in here. This is really unusual. Like I that I think this tastes a fucking phenomenal. But I'm not getting really an IPA vibe off of it. Well, we'll read it in a second, but for now, let's do this. Uh, cheers, everybody. Oh my God. That is absolutely delightful. Like the smell? There's a bit of like an IPA kind of, like I said, the piney, but there's no kind of resiny, piney note in the flavor at all from what I'm getting. Lady Friend IPA features a robust blend of select hops that showcase distinct notes of grapefruit, melon, and Spring Valley Heather. A delicate malt profile embraces hop bitterness and aroma while finishing soft and satisfying. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't like grapefruit. Occasionally, a bit of grapefruit in a beer can be nice. I also am not a fan of melon. Honeydew, gray, uh, watermelon, whatever kind of melon. I'm not a fan. And I don't even know what Valley Heather is. Spring Valley Heather. But the flavor of this... Like, it's not old. It's not old at all. Although, somehow, there's no... It shouldn't be old. I bought this at the LCBO like a week ago. And for some reason, this is not like notarized 
in any way, kind of like there's no actual, it's like you got all the info there, the, all the systems available to let people know when it's packed on, but it's not done for whatever reason. I'm wondering if maybe it was done in ink and when I grabbed it, I smudged it. I wouldn't think I would have smudged it that much. Like you should still be able to kind of even see the indentation. If it was like written on. I see nothing. I'm trying to hold it up in the light so that if there was like, if somebody had put a cross or something in ink and then I had rubbed it out, you should still see the line in the right light kind of thing. That's right, I'm going all forensics on this shit. I know I grabbed another bottle at the LCBO and it was dated somewhere in July. So I'm assuming they got them all at the same time. I'm not really happy about what's going on there. Right? I can't see it. Like, whoever's doing that, instead of using them, if, if, if the pen is being smudged and that is what happened right there, because like chill haze and stuff happens, the bottle gets moist, take some kind of little, any kind of little knife thing, like even this would work, some kind of little thing with a scratchy thing, and just scratch, 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 scratch. That's fine. I got no problem with that. Like, ideally, you'd like take a hole punch and punch these out before they were even put on the bottle, but that's just going a bit insane, I think. Like, the scratch, scratch seems just as easy in my mind. It might take an extra two seconds per bottle as opposed to just going slash, slash, slash with a pen. Unless you switch to some kind of waterproof pen. I don't know. I'm just talking about something to talk about, to talk about things for the sake of talking about things or something. Allurabrewing.ca will bring you to allurabrewingcompany.ca because that's actually what it is. It's allurabrewingcompany.ca. I was close. I just missed a word. But uh, yeah. And they're in Allura. So super creative with the name. <laughs> I'm kidding. And it, it's, it almost sounds like, like when you say, when you hear a lower brewing company for the first time, like when I did, it never in my mind's eye pictured like, ooh, a lower is obviously a town. It sounds like it's like somebody named the brewery after their daughter or something. My daughter, Alora. I named the brewery for her or something. I like it. And I don't know what's going on with this beer. Because it... Like there still is like a kind of a brightness to it. It doesn't taste old. Like so, uh, some of those hoppy IPAs, they get to that point and they become those malt bombs. And sometimes they're okay, but the maltiness, like there's something just a little bit off sometimes. This, this still tastes, like everything's still nicely balanced and there's no like really kind of, there's nothing in this that makes me think, oh, this isn't right. Cause it really doesn't seem like a, it's English style IPA maybe or something. Let's look at some ratings before I take a break, because that's about to happen, because my god, it's been a little bit now. Um, 3.74 to 5 out of 5 on Untapped. 3,374 ratings overall. Your advocate, 3.76 out of 5, 12 ratings. Great beer. Ignore what they say. 3.46, so probably like 3.75 out of 5. 21 ratings. Aroma, candied citrus zest, stone fruit, chewy malts, mouthfeel soft. Chewy malts, like citrus zest. I don't know the smell of candied fruit, but I wouldn't put that past it. I think that might be a decent kind of candied thing. Anyway, that was the ratings, and now comes the break. This is delicious. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'd almost equate it more to an EPA or an ES. No, fuck. Well, what time is it? EPA. What, the, what even is that? This stuff is freaking delicious. Although, like, like I said, like, if someone gave me this to blind taste test, I don't know if I really 
qualify it as an IPA. It's a bit closer to like an ESB. Like there is some kind of a hoppy presence there. It's just that there's no like, they say grapefruit and melon. I don't really get that. And like I said before, the date's not on there, but if it's part of the pack that was there and dated, which I can't see them mixing, unless like it lowers the shadiest brewery everywhere ever, and mixing old beers in with their new beers in the packs they send to the LCBO, like this should not be old. It's a mystery in beer form. Number last. <clears throat> Alora Brewing, your lady friend IPA rating. Dates there, ingredients I don't think were there. They have like some pairing stuff, it pairs well with. I see meat and ice cream. And then two things I, maybe that's, I don't know. I'll show you. The first two symbols there. The last two, steak and ice cream make sense. That first two though, don't really make sense to me. So yeah, 0.5 off there on the ingredients mark. Now that is going to get a 7.5. I would have bumped up to eight. I'm going to go any higher than eight overall because it just doesn't really, it's delicious. But it doesn't seem like an IPA. It's it's weird. But really tasty. So, you know, make your own decisions. Have you had this IPA? And did it have the grapefruit melon flavor it said when you had it? Let me know in the comments down below. Start the conversation type thing. Because that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash Mr. Thumbs Up button in his face do it or even like elbow drop like put your laptop flat in the ground and then elbow drop the like button it's like and then copy and capture that on video could be freaking hilarious as hell subscribe if you want to see more hit the bell notification so you know when new videos go live and i will be back with another delta vlog tomorrow a uh, peace out either people are downstairs in the shop or somebody left the freaking radio on Either way, it's kind of annoying.